Everyone, um, I hope that we get this soon. Um, my name is Miguel Angel Chigora, and I'm from the Comparative Genomics Lab from the Life Science Department. And today I'm going to tell you about the problem of drug resistance in ESPs pathogens. And I'd like to start by stating that I think that infections are still a serious problem in our society. And you can probably think about viruses here, but today I'm going to talk about a different type of microbes that can be deathly, yeasts. For example, this is how they look like when we, look, when we watch them in the microscope inside of the human body. And all right, I said yeasts, and probably you're thinking about making bread here, and probably some of you tried to do this during lockdown. I just hope it did not end like this in March. But you know, these are just one class of yeasts. They are really nice for some food applications, but what I'm studying is another class of yeasts that can be far more annoying. They are called candida. And they are the ones that cause candidiasis. And the thing is that usually they live inside of our body. And in healthy people, they cause like mild infections. They can still pre be pretty annoying. And they will infect 75% of women during a lifetime. So I think it's a pretty big deal. The problem is that they can be very aggressive for those that have a weak immune system, which is the case of neonate babies or patients undertaking chemotherapy. They cause 50,000 deaths each year in the world. So I think, I think it's a pretty big deal. And the treatment is complicated. There are really few drugs and many side effects. And on top of that, there's this problem of drug resistance that makes the problem worse. And I'd like to explain a bit better what this means. So imagine that this is a person that gets infected with a, you know, a bunch of these yeasts. She will probably go to the doctor and get one of these drugs, which will kill most of them. So she'll be fine after that. But what, hap nat what happens naturally is that some of these yeasts can be resistant to these drugs. So they survive the treatment. And they can proliferate again and mm, you know, cause the infection again and eventually kill the patient. And on top of that, now we have a new set of yeasts that are drug resistant and that can cause new infections. So what has happened over the last decades is that we have been overusing this kind of drugs. So we have more and more of these yeasts. So the problem is getting more and more. And what we think is that the first set to solve this is to understand how it happens. And this is the the main focus of my PG project. We want to understand what makes these yeasts resistant. Um, we think that comparative genomics is a really nice way to, to find these, these mechanisms. We think that everything is related to the genome of these yeasts. And you see the genome is this set of you know, genetic material that each organism has. We think that there are differences between susceptible and drug-resistant yeasts that can be related to this drug resistance. So what we do is we compare these genomes and we try to find these differences. We try to identify resistance mutations that can be related to a resistance mechanism. And at the end of the day, we are doing this for several species. We are analyzing yeasts that are resistant um, artificially in the lab, but also um, those that we isolate from patients. This involves analyzing thousands of genomes. And that's what we use the supercomputing facilities for. And I'd like to finish this presentation by showing you one example of how one of these mutations can be related to one resistance mechanism. So imagine that this is a yeast cell that is susceptible. And inside of this, mm, this mm, cell, there is a genome. And the genome has these tiny little pieces of functional information that we know as um, genes. And there is this ERG gene which I want to talk about. It encodes a protein that is essential for the, the, the yeast survival. And the thing is that there are, we have one class of drugs that bind to this protein and destroy it. And that's how they kill the cell. And that's why they work. The problem is that there are some yeasts that are resistant to these drugs. Basically, they have mutations in this ERG gene that now encodes a protein that is a bit different. This protein has a different shape, so the drug cannot bind to it. So now 
this is an example of how one mutation can cause resistance. So we are trying to find these kinds of mutations, try to build these stories, and we think this will help us to understand the whole picture, let's say. And this is pretty much everything I wanted to tell you. I hope that you, you get three messages home. The first is that yeasts can cause infections, and that drug resistance is making this problem worse. And I hope that I've convinced you that comparative genomics can be a really useful tool to understand these, you know, these mechanisms of drug resistance. And I hope that this will be you know, a first step to solve this problem in the future. And I, I want to thank you for your, present, for your attention. Um, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. And I also want to thank all my lab mates, because this is a collaborative project where many people are involved, and it would not be possible without them. So thanks a lot, and take care. <laughs>